Israel has not been alone in its opposition to the newly brokered nuclear deal with Iran. Now Canada's foreign minister says he's skeptical about the international community's agreement with Iran. Canadian Foreign Minister John Baird we says his country Iran will keep its financial and trade sanctions against weapons. Iran in place. Canada's conservative government, which is a staunch ally of Israel, has banned nearly all exports to and imports from Iran over Tehran's nuclear energy program. Canada also shut its embassy in Tehran in 2012 and ordered Iranian diplomats to leave Ottawa. Well, earlier our correspondent gave us more about the recent remarks by Canada's foreign minister on the newly brokered deal with Iran. Canada's uh, pro-Zionist foreign affairs minister, John Baird, gave a press conference earlier today in which he stated that Canada was going to be unmoved by the latest uh, deal between Iran and certain influential powers in the world. And that vindicates the assertion of many that Canada's current regime is actually more of a puppet regime of Israel than an independent and autonomous government of the Canadian people. John Baird, you know, almost made me laugh when he said that Canada has a made in Canada the foreign policy. Now, he could rely on the fact that the journalists there are also unable to ask the kind of critical questions that need to be asked when John Baird uh, mimics, like you say, or parrots the uh, fantastic assertions of the Israeli regime. You know, for example, uh, there's no evidence that Iran is pursuing a nuclear weapon, and yet the main premise of all uh, John Baird's assertions is that Iran is pursuing a nuclear weapon. And we can't rely on journalists in this country to say, well, where's your evidence for that? He's allowed to get away with uh, uh, such assertions. He claims that Iran is a threat to peace and stability in the world when Iran is one of the main countries seeking to foment peace in the Middle East against the destabilization projects of the Israeli regime. Uh, he mentions the non-proliferation treaty. And again, uh, he, we can't rely on Canada on journalists to say, well, what about Israel, which is not a signatory to the non-proliferation treaty, but which has created hundreds of nuclear weapons illegally and in violation of all international protocols.